pretty much every day in Southern California, there are people, you know, unwittingly swimming and surfing in and amongst these juvenile sharks. In fact, beaches all up and down Southern California and in LA County in particular, are essentially great white shark nurseries. Um, just kind of little sanctuaries where the sharks hang out and grow into adult sharks. For the researchers at the Cal State University Long Beach Shark Lab, nothing makes them happier than uh, great whites really close to home because it just makes studying them a lot easier. This one's going on. So a photographer and I went out on their boat with them and we were tagging great white sharks and they were easy to find. We just pulled up just outside the surf break. I mean, within a few dozen yards of tons of surfers. And we put a drone in the sky and it was very easy to spot those like dark shapes swimming in and among the surfers and underneath them. And Chris Lowe, the director of the Shark Lab, would drive the boat so that we could cut the engine and coast up behind it very stealthily. Another researcher, a guy named Ryan Logan, was out on the bow of the boat, and he had a GoPro just on a really long stick. And we would sneak up, and he would dip the GoPro in the water under the shark's genitals. I mean, he's essentially upskirting this poor shark. Uh, in the name of science. But it helps them to know if it's a male or a female. And once we figured that out, we would kind of circle around. The shark would be a little spooked and swim away. And we'd circle back around. But this time, Logan was like like a character out of Moby Dick. He had this like giant spear. And he would jab the shark and get this tracking device like lodged in the muscle just under the dorsal fin. So Chris Lowe, the director of the Shark Lab, was saying that because they've been tracking these, these sharks for so long, so they're like five, six, seven, sometimes nine feet long, yep. and nothing happens. Lowe said, like, to them, uh, people are just like flotsam. They're not a threat. They're not food. So they just ignore them. If you don't spend a lot of time in the ocean and you don't, you know, get sort of used to it, like, sharks are terrifying. I actually live near a beach that became a great white shark nursery a few years ago. And at first, you know, I'm a kite surfer, and all of my friends, you know, the, the lifeguards, like, hammered these signs into the sand saying, you know, shark sighted, you know, enter at your own risk. And, like, one guy goes out. But, you know, he didn't get eaten, and then the next person didn't get eaten, and then eventually we're all out there. Um, and, in fact, like, there were so many sharks, they, they ate all the, the stingrays, so nobody got stung. It was a great summer. <laughs> 